Well, this is the star of the show on the Audi stand, and that's why it's attracting so much attention. It's the new A2, a car that will rival the Mercedes A-Class, of course. This goes on sale in the summer of 2000 back in the UK. Two 1.4-litre engines power the car, and it has a, a really very smart design. Lots of space inside for the passengers with split-level flooring, which allows extra space in the back and a slightly raised rear passenger seating area. Some very clever features at the front, too. You can check the, uh, the water and the oil in these handy pop-out little parts there, all behind the distinctive Audi ringed badge. Two 1.4 engines, there's a turbo diesel which produces some 66 miles to the gallon and a 1.4 petrol engine which is still very economical, about 45 to the gallon from a 75 brake horsepower engine. Prices, well expect them to be competitive with the Mercedes A-Class, it's a car, it's going to rival. This goes on sale in the summer of 2000. So as well as being the world's first mass-produced aluminium car, the A2 also has a class-leading drag coefficient of just 0.28. Inside, it's the quality we know and love and come to expect from Audi. Everything of the highest finish. They really do produce superb car interiors these days. Far better, many people think, than the likes of Mercedes and BMW, and that is really saying something. When you're jumping, the first thing you've actually noticed is that the pedals seem slightly offset towards the centre steering console, which is somewhat bizarre maybe, but maybe just takes a bit of getting used to. Inside there's a reasonable amount of room, although the one thing you do notice is that it's produced just for four passengers. There are only two rear seat belts in the back. So unlike the Mercedes A-Class, which can handle five, this is purely a four-seater. The seats in the rear are all removable. You can fold them down for maximum versatility and indeed just take them completely out.